Doctor, I read on Google that rosemary oil can help in baldness. I want to use it. Doctor, my friend sent me this article. See, it says rosemary oil can work and produce hair. These questions were asked to me in the last one week, 10 days by two patients. Dr. Venkatram Mysur, skin and hair transplant surgeon, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar Banishankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. Trying to answer this question, does rosemary oil work for hair loss? Does it have any evidence? Now, rosemary oil is a herbal product. It is found in Himalayas, it is found in Mediterranean areas. It contains several organic substances such as rosemaryic acid, kefic acid, camphor is added to it, certain other organic acids are also there. It has been used for decades for various other ailments. It has been used for arthritis. It has been used for depression. It has been used for anxiety. It has been used for hair loss also. So it's not a new product. Now, why this sudden enthusiasm? Social media suddenly sometimes discovers some old things, recycles old things. And so it has come up on the social media. Now, in 2015, there was one publication comparing rosemary oil with 2% minoxidil. You can see the publication here. This was in 2015. It said rosemary oil is equal in efficacy to 2% minoxidil. That is important, 2% minoxidil. Now there are three issues here. Number one, it's an old publication. Nine years is a long time. Subsequently, there have been no significant publications on this. There were two other publications in alopecia areata in the form of aromatherapy. As I said, rosemary oil has strong smell, fragrance. So it is used in aromatherapy, which uses smell to treat diseases. It's an alternative medicine or what we call complementary medicine. There they said alopecia areata lesions benefited. But there is a catch. Alopecia areata is a totally different disease. It's an autoimmune disease which presents with multiple patches here and there, as you can see here. In many cases, it is self-limiting. It comes, it improves and it disappears. So it is very difficult to specify something works or not. And aromatherapy has a strong placebo action. That means there is no drug activity, but it creates a psychological impact. And so the condition improves. That is placebo. So that is the answer for that alopecia areata. The second part is, if something works well, you will see lots of publications. Search PRP publications. You will see 40 publications in the last five years. Minoxidil will have 100 publications. Anything which works, lot of research. So, why is there no subsequent publication after 2015? Because other people didn't find much improvement. Lastly, the comparison in that study was with 2% minoxidil. 2% minoxidil, we have stopped using it. We do not think it works enough. For a long time, it was said 2% minoxidil is enough for female pattern hair loss. You start with 2% and then go to 5%. Now, no, it doesn't work enough. So, what is the point of comparing a product, rosemary oil, with something like 2% minoxidil, which we don't think it works much. So we cannot give much credence to this publication. And so we cannot assume that it works. Now the next question is, why does something like this happen? See, there is an urge in baldness patients to seek some new, easy, simple, cheap treatment, hopefully which will cure baldness. That is understandable. There is a little sense of fatigue with minoxidil, 47 years old drug, still the same drug is being used. But rosemary oil is not this only one in that category. Plumpkin seed oil, flax seed oil, fenugreek, almond oil, coconut oil, castor oil, all kinds of oils have been used for various indications including hair loss. You can see this publication here which we ourselves analyzed this article. Even fenugreek oil which has a bigger reputation. We wrote an article on that also. You can see that here. All these have mild anti-androgen activity, vasodilator activity means it increases blood supply, anti-infective activity kills bacteria and fungi. All these effects are there, but they are not enough to produce hair. It is one thing to have an activity in the laboratory, but it's another thing to be useful in clinical practice. None of these oils have been found to be useful in clinical practice. So we have to be very careful when we analyze such new sensations on social media. So my suggestion to all of you, please be careful and please be little cautious in jumping to conclusions 
when something pops up on social media. Baldness is a very difficult condition to treat. So far, the only lotion which works well is minoxidil, which was discovered in 1977 when I was in medical college. That too, accidentally, serendipitously. There has been not a single new drug which equals in efficacy to that drug. Why? Because baldness is a very complicated problem. Any advances have happened. PRP is not a drug. It's a biological treatment. Laser is not a drug. It's a device. Transplantation is not a drug. It is surgery. So very little drug advances have happened because it is complicated. I understand people can be unhappy that no new treatment has come. But that is the state of affairs. We have minoxidil booster recently, finasteride lotion recently, couple of other drugs are in the offing, but they all have to undergo rigorous scrutiny. These kind of products come into the market without that scrutiny and in social media they create a sensation because there is a receptive audience which is hungry and looking for some proof. So please don't believe that. Social media Fake can appear more real than real. So be careful. Please clarify with us. At Venkat Center, we have all the treatments for hair loss. Any issues, you are welcome to contact us. Visit our website, venkatcenter.com. Please share this video. Thank you very much.